so here uh, we are going to discuss the radiation power density radiation power density and radiation power intensity are the two most important point which we have to consider while understanding the radiation pattern and the fundamentals of the antigen so what is here radiation power density what is the radiation power density is there so we will see the definition of the radiation power density so here what is the background background for the radiation power density is a pointing theorem so here pointing theorem describe the electric field vector and magnetic field vector cross product of that and it is giving the direction of propagation so uh, the this is uh, english physician so name as pointing and uh, who introduced it in 1884 so it is very old concept okay so now we will go for the our focus here is to understand the radiation power density now what is radiation power density so here average power radiated by the antenna so what is this average power radiated by the antenna if you will consider the power radiated by the antenna so this is power and average power same we are taking a double integration as it is the density it is covering a surface concept okay so uh, w radiated dot ds ds is the surface okay so what is power radiated it is we know that when the electromagnetic field uh, transmit so here electric field and magnetic field both are in perpendicular to each other and direction of propagation is also the perpendicular to each other okay so this is that's why it is represent here e cross h is what the point, according to the pointing theorem we are taking the real part of that now this is the general concept now this power radiated if you are taking for the isotropic radiator what is isotropic radiator that is if your power is radiating equally in all the direction that is called the isotropic radiator so how 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 it will be changed so power radiated for the isotropic radiator we are considering a sphere and the antenna is at the center so for a sphere if antenna is kept at the center so uh, whatever the limit of this uh, integration it comes 0 to pi and it will be 0 to sorry 0 to 2 pi and 0 to pi so here two parameters are there what is this theta d theta and d phi so limit of phi is 0 to 2 pi limit of phi is 0 to 2 pi and limit of theta this is uh, limit of theta d theta is 0 to pi now the question here is why the limit of uh, pi is 0 to 2 pi and why this is 0 to pi so to answer this question we can uh, just see here that uh, why why this is so now you can consider any any uh, anything maybe a circular shape okay so i have consider this maybe a shape maybe consider this much so if I, I, I want to take a horizontal angle so this is 0 to 2 pi that is 360 degree this way now if i will rotate consider this finger center finger as a axis of rotation so if i will rotate it by a this is what 0 degree now vertically i am rotating it so this is what how much from here i rotate here 90 degree again i'll rotate it opposite okay so this is 180 degree now from here this way it is rotated this way 180 degree so this way it is rotated this way that is 180 degree so while rotating this your half sphere is forming below and half sphere is forming above okay so this why for the vertical angle your a limit will be 180 degree only not it will not be the 2 uh, pi so that's why here the limit will be 0 to pi okay 
now from here where it comes r square sin theta d theta d phi you can go for the ds ds is the surface area so if you will take a projection of uh, surface area on a spherical sphere so it will be r square sin theta d theta d phi so you solve this integration if you will solve this integration you will get 4 pi r square into w0 w0 is what if you are considering for isotropic radiator, this W is considered as W0 because it is for isotropic radiator. In general, it is called as W radiated. Okay. So you can power radiated can be calculated as this. So power radiated is this. And if you want to calculate a power density, if you are considering the isotropic radiator, so isotropic radiator, you can divide whatever this power radiated this much so power radiated is this much you put power radiated upon 4 pi r square why 4 pi r square because the surface area of the entire sphere is 4 pi r square you can put the limit in the integration or mathematical formula geometrical formula is 4 pi r square is the surface area. this is called radiation density radiation density refers to the surface ds Density refers to the surface. Always remember. Now, we will go for intensity. That is radiation intensity. What is radiation intensity? Now, this radiation intensity is not referred to the surface. It refers to the what? It refers to the solid angle. Now, what is this solid angle? You might have seen the cone, the ice cream cone is a solid angle. You might have seen a shopkeeper, uh, uh, mainly the hawkers, they are selling watermelon and they tip one portion like a cone portion of uh, uh, um, a watermelon outside. That is a cone. Any cone, the angle of that is the solid angle. Now, this solid angle you can consider. Now, here, this is what the projection here I am showing for the solid angle. And previously, how this R square sine theta d theta d phi you get for a DA. DA is the surface area. So please be cautious and understand it that how we can calculate a surface area on any surface. This is related to the previous thing. What I am explaining? I am explaining here uh, this formula in radiation uh, intensity. In radiation intensity, this formula is given. Okay. So, ds, instead of ds, it is taken r square sine theta d theta d phi. ar is the vector for the surface area. So, how this come? From where this come? So, that I am going to explain just now. So, this is what the explanation I am taking for how this formula come that is r square sin theta d theta d phi so here this is the projection you can see the horizontal angle so this is x x axis y axis and z axis okay so x axis y axis and z axis so you can see the all the axis here and uh, for the axis, uh, this is what you are, you can see, this is, one minute, uh, so here you can see this is what uh, d phi, d phi is 0. So on the x axis, if you will have this x axis, so on the x axis phi is 0. So when it goes from here to here, so at y axis, it has some value. Okay. Now, uh, we are going, this is what, uh, this is what from this point, this way, this way, this way we are going. So this is what your uh, uh, horizontal angle. This is called phi. This is called your phi. Now, we will go for theta. This is called horizontal angle. Now, in the horizontal angle, this you can say d, 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 d phi. Now, for the d phi, 
this much is d5 whatever the angle you have uh, here that is d5 and whatever the radius this area the radius is r okay this is r so whatever this arc length this arc length whatever this arc length this arc length will be r d phi r d phi now if you will this is what the uh, projection now if you will project here you can see it will go here and meet at this point it will go and meet at so obviously these two lines are not the parallel line so whatever the length of this line and this line may differ so we have to find it out that it is not r d phi it may be something different so we will consider a small area whatever this area is shown here this much this is what uh, projected here so our interest is to find it out the area of this shaded portion how to find it out now this r d phi is there this length is something different so how it comes r sine theta d phi that i'll explain before that i'll explain you something now this is what the z axis now on the z axis that is what your theta this angle is theta okay this is the theta now this angle is theta and you just consider this triangle i'll use the some other color so you can consider this triangle this one and this one okay the uh, uh, blue one so whatever this uh, angle this angle is d5 okay now you can see this line oh sorry not this one um, wrongly projected so this is what your d theta consider this triangle uh, between this so this is theta this is what angle theta and this is what the triangle okay now my interest is to find it out the length of this okay so length of this uh, uh, side this side what will be the length this length we have to find it out so simple what is this uh, this is what from here it is the r r is the radius and this is what less than r because it is cutting here this is what the perpendicular from this so this side length sin theta formula simply you can say sin theta equals to opposite side upon hypotenuse how much is hypotenuse it is r so this can be r sin theta is the length of this side so it is simply r sin theta so r sin theta and what is the angle here d5 so obviously what is will be the angle here also here also it will be the d5 so angle between here is d5 because it is here it is simply the projection so here again it is d5 so r sin theta into d5 so it becomes r sin theta d5 so, so uh, sir, but it is uh, r d5 now sorry sir it is r d5 the angle total angle towards the uh, plane but, uh, r d5 yes you are correct r d5 will be here this arc length whatever this arc length na i just this so arc I length na, it will be r d5 this arc length bottom arc length it will be r d5 but whatever this arc length the upper one this arc length it will not be r d5 because if you will see these two line that are meeting at one point so they are not parallel line although they look like parallel but they are not parallel line that is what the concept here are you getting this this line whatever this line and this line they look like parallel line but they are not parallel they are meeting here at at this point okay are you getting my point so although this is r d5 this is the length is r this is d5 so this point will this this uh, line will not be the same because 
this r when it will go this way it it is on the perpendicular line so it is this length is not r it is less than r so that's why it is r sin theta but angle is same angle is defined so that's why here it becomes r sin theta d phi am i clear yes sir okay so you can ask any doubt if you have so this one side length is clear that is r uh, sin theta d phi now the other is simple other is r d uh, theta so here this this angle is d theta and this length whatever you are saying from here to here is r it is correct from it is from origin to the surface so it is r so whatever this this side length or this side length both side length it is r because radius is there into d theta so r d theta so i will take one side as this is the very small surface so one side surface is r sin theta d theta and another side is r d theta so r into r it becomes r square r into r it becomes r square sin theta d theta d phi so two variables have come d theta and d phi r square and what is this d omega it is solid angle as we are discussing solid angle solid angle is this sin theta d theta d phi is a solid angle so this is what the equation for solid angle what we are discussing now and for the entire surface the formula is this r square sin theta d theta d phi now you do the double integration of this over whatever the limit you require theta limit is 0 to pi if you are considering for the entire sphere and phi limit is 0 to pi if as the horizontal is the angle is 0 to pi and vertical angle is 0 to sorry horizontal angle is 0 to 2 pi the complete if your door is rotating completely so this 360 degree complete and the horizontal vertical angle is uh, uh, 180 degree that is 0 to pi this is 0, 90 and this is 180 this way so this way you can put the limit and you can find it out is there any doubt here you can ask so this is what the understanding of this projection it is required this is the understanding of the spherical coordinate system this is the understanding of spherical coordinate system now we'll go further by using this what we have this is a 360 degree planar angle and solid angle now we will consider the cone so solid angle just now we are considered the solid angle maximum for a sphere is 4 pi but a planar angle is 2 pi 360 degree but this is what this is 2 pi planar angle simple angle planar angle okay that is 360 degree 2 pi but this is more than 360 double the 360 4 pi that is solid angle okay now we will go for the understanding of this what is this radiation intensity radiation intensity is referred to solid angle and radiation density is referred to surface area the radiation passing through a surface how much passing through a surface that is called radiation density and if you are considering a cone complete cone then for a cone then it is the intensity now we are talking about the intensity radiation intensity denoted by u capital u and uh, you remember the unit watt per unit solid angle watt per unit solid angle in radiation intensity for particular area or the particular solid angle can be denoted by theta and phi. Okay, so this way. So you can say for a particular angle, radiation intensity is power along this direction. That is what in a solid angle of this much. Solid angle of this much theta, solid angle of this much phi upon this solid angle. 
power along the so if you are considering this solid angle what is the power along this solid angle complete power so power along this solid angle upon the solid angle so power along this uh, uh, this angle and upon the solid angle so this is what the solid angle so power along this so if you are seeing the relation so power density into r square is power intensity radiation power intensity is power density into r square is nothing but the power intensity so this is what the thing require here okay now uh, this is difference between power density and intensity so the total power is obtained by integrating the radiation intensity so for uh, complete this is what 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi why I am taking 0 to 2 pi and 0 to pi? Because I am considering a sphere. This is for a sphere. Uh, for a isotropic radiator. Okay. So that's why. So that is power radiated is u into sine theta d theta d pi. So uh, the omega d omega is element of the solid angle. This is what nothing but a solid angle. That's why we are considering here. So for an isotropic source, now we will come to the isotropic source. For isotropic source, you will be independent of theta and phi. Because can anybody respond to this? Why the isotropic source is independent of theta and phi? Because here all the limit of theta and phi are exhaust here. Theta is 0 to pi and phi is 0 to 2 pi. So completely it is spreading equally in all the direction. So that's why it is not depend and we are considering the isotropic radiator. So that's why. So 0 to 4 pi because solid angle is there. So you just integrate here over the 4 pi. So it is 4 pi into u0 as u0 it is for the isotropic radiator. So same p radiated equals to 4 pi upon u. So u can be given by this formula u0 that is uh, 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 this uh, power uh, u0 is uh, power intensity radiated intensity is given by u0 that is power radiated upon 4 pi so this way you can have the understanding of power density and power intensity power density is for the surface passing through surface intensity is for a complete solid angle am i clear now so this is what the consideration here so uh, the, this this is what a solid angle this antenna is radiating a power this is what the particular solid angle and here you can see the radiation intensity along this uh, particular angle so this is a uh, 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 mathematical representation of the radiation intensity. So this concept is important. Important is what? You have to remember intensity is for the complete solid angle and power density is for the surface. It is passing through a surface. So this way uh, it is there. Now we will go for the another parameter. Now another parameter again it is most important parameter. So it is the directivity. So what is directivity? So again, we will take a reference of the previous parameter. So we'll understand what is directivity and then we'll go further. So the directivity is, it is the, uh, the directivity, the ratio of a radiation intensity in a given direction. Okay. So the ratio of a radiation intensity in a given direction from the antenna to the radiation intensity for all the directions okay so the average radiation intensity is equal to the total power radiated by the antenna uh, divided by 4 pi why 4 pi because we are considering the sphere isotropic radiator that is intensity of uh, the total power radiation radiated by the antenna generally the direction of a maximum radiation is implies for a non-isotropic source, it is equal to the ratio of, for a non-isotropic source, 
it is most important for the isotropic source uh, the directivity is one so it is it doesn't have the much importance but for the non isotropic source for non isotropic source it is important for a non isotropic source it is equal to the ratio of its radiation intensity in a given direction over that of all uh, that of an isotropic source so uh, what is the directivity we will understand here now u is what u is general radiation intensity in all the direction and u0 is what radiation intensity in the particular solid angle sorry ulta bola mein u is the radiation intensity in a particular angle and u0 is for the isotropic source zero stand for the isotropic source so that is for uh, 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 isotropic so what it is reference that is if you will have a isotropic source okay now consider here isotropic source u is uh, the radiation intensity in particular direction and radiation intensity of an isotropic source both will be same so whatever the number is same so directivity becomes one but for a directive antenna suppose for a directive antenna if your entire radiation is focused in this maybe 30 degree angle or this whatever the angle is this in this 30 40 degree angle and if you will consider this so it has high value so it will come in numerator and denominator the entire value that is the isotropic uh, radiator so it comes less so what directivity is the number it is simple the ratio so it will be i so if you want to calculate in this so u equals if you and you can calculate this that is 4 pi u upon power radiator you have kept some same so 4 pi the u0 is power radiated upon 4 pi so it is rearrange 4 pi u upon power radiated so this is nothing but what simply your uh, simply this is what your uh, 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 directivity now maximum directivity this is general formula now maximum directivity can be denoted by this that is d0 so that is instead of u you can say u max so whatever if this direction what is the maximum radiation intensity in this direction intensity we are taking a reference upon u0 that is the isotropic source so it is u max upon power radiated upon 4 pi rearrange so it is u max 4 pi upon power radiated so u max into 4 pi upon uh, here power radiated is nothing u max upon omega that is solid angle so simply it is 4 pi upon uh, omega a means what 4 pi upon omega a so 4 pi remain constant omega a is what whatever the angle is there the the maximum directivity is in which angle so suppose if i will give two example to you so you just uh, sh uh, give me where the maximum uh, directivity is there this is what not good in drawing so what i'll do I'll... okay so this is what the radiation intensity this is the source so your your antenna is here okay it is radiating this is the one example and then i'll go for the another example so from in a different way okay so this is what one type of radiation your antenna is here and this is what the second example this is what the second example now in the first example here here it is having spread it is isotropic radiation but this is directive antenna this is the antenna i'll show you the antenna also
this is what antenna and this antenna is here. So these two antennas are here. This is suppose, and it is having the radiation all over. Or you can keep the antenna here and this antenna here. Okay. Now this antenna is having radiation equally in all the direction. But this antenna is having radiation only in this direction, the small. So this antenna, what directivity is there? 4 pi upon 4 pi, because solid angle is same. So 4 pi upon 4 pi, 1. So directivity of this antenna, it will be simply, how much? It will be 1. And if the angle of this, suppose you are considering this angle is pi by 4. Okay. So this angle is very small. So it is the directivity will be uh, maybe uh, very high. Suppose this angle is only 4 degree or 40 degree. So it will be pi. So whatever the directivity is more than 1. Because this angle is less than 4 pi. So very, very less than 4 pi. So whatever the directivity, maximum directivity will be more. So this is what the concept of the directivity that how directive the antenna is there. Antenna is more directive, isotropic radiator. It is what if the antenna is radiating equally in all the direction. So directivity is one. If it is radiating within very small angle, this, this much angle, so directivity is very high. So this way it is represented. So final maximum directivity is shown by this formula. If this angle omega a is small, the directivity is high. If this is same as 4 pi, directivity is 1. Okay. So this, these are the notation already I have. D is the directivity. D0 is the maximum directivity. Along the y, any direction you can consider. U is the radiation intensity, U max maximum radiation intensity, U is the radiation intensity of uh, isotropic source, P radiated total radiated power, and this is what the beam solid angle. So this is nothing but this is related to the what uh, the directivity. So further, the directivity uh, can be considered here for an isotropic source, U max. And this is equals to 1. So, no directional directional character. So, as I have mentioned here, the directivity of isotropic source is 1. But the directivity in the figure of merit, uh, that is, uh, this, this antenna is a very highly directive antenna because it is uh, radiated in a very short angle. So, directivity is 4 pi upon omega A. So, 4 pi upon upon theta e, theta h, that is in radiation. In degree, if you will consider, convert this, so degree is 4, 1, 4, 1, 2, 5, 3 divided by this much angle. So here, if your theta is, theta e is uh, maybe 20 degree and this 20 degree, so uh, maybe 20 degree. So here, this much divided by 20, so your directivity is very high. This, this is what the concept here. So this is related to the directivity. And for non-isotropic source, maximum directivity will be always be greater than unity. That is the simple sir, figure uh, of the case. Sir, yes. sir, if the radiation is in one direction, the directivity will be zero, no? No, no, beta. Directivity maximum. will be more. What you are doing? You are doing a division. This fixed number, maybe 4 pi upon uh, 1. The, if your directivity, this omega A is the angle. Maximum directivity kaha hai? Wo angle hai wo. If this is a 1 degree angle, uh, so, uh, if this is a 1 omega, so 4 pi upon 1, so your directivity is 4 pi. Or if you are considering this 4, 1, 2, 5, 3, and this angle is 1 degree only, very small angle, 1 degree is uh, uh, not possible. At least 10, 20 degree to be angle reta hai. So if this is the 10 degree, aapka ye niche ka agar 10 degree hai, so 41,000 upon 10 degree, so kitna hoga? 4,125. So itna uska directivity hoga. So directivity is very high. Understood? 
सम मतलब रेडिएशन इन ऑल डायरेक्शन देन डायरेक्टिविटी विल बी लेस हां करेक्ट यही मैंने लिखा है आइसोट्रोपिक सोर्स के लिए डायरेक्टिविटी वन ही रहेगा क्योंकि इट इज इक्वली स्प्रेड इन ऑल द डायरेक्शन आइसोट्रोपिक सोर्स का डेफिनेशन ही वही है इट इज स्प्रेडिंग इन ऑल द डायरेक्शन तो ऑल द डायरेक्शन में स्प्रेड होता है तो डायरेक्टिविटी का कोई मीनिंग ही नहीं है डायरेक्टिविटी कहां आएगा when it is focused to the particular ye jo figure dikhaya maine in this figure it is radiating in this particular direction maybe ye 15 20 degree ka angle hoga okay so ye both highly directive and understood am i clear yes sir okay so this is the concept of directivity ye humko lagega beam efficiency ये हम नेक्स्ट टाइम करते हैं सो so, uh, अभी हमने क्या सोचा व्हाट वी डिस्कस वी हैव डिस्कस द डायरेक्टिविटी आइसोट्रोपिक सोर्स के लिए डायरेक्टिविटी कितना रहेगा वन हाईली रेडिएशन अगर ये डायरेक्शन में है तो डायरेक्टिविटी हाई रहेगी सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस वी विल डिस्कस दर्दर पॉइंट सो वी विल स्टॉप हियर